All right, Paul Ammons and I are going to go for a drive around Ennis in minus 30 degree weather here in Ennis. That's 30 degrees below zero uh, wind chill factor. It's actually 16 to 20 degrees below zero real temperature. But uh, anyway, I want to show you something. This is my front door, and you can see the snow that is the spine frozen snow that is blown in underneath the door and around the and I tried to close my door just now it was a little hard because the snow is packed in right there where the uh, door hinges onto the frame uh, it's gonna be a fun day today I'll show you outside and that's uh, what it looks like at 15 degrees below zero and a uh, 30 degree wind chill and uh, all right i'm in paul's truck he's eating sunflower seeds i'm paul and it's 18 below zero and no, the wind yeah. chill is about 33 i would say uh below zero so it's a it's a cold friggin' day today baby <laughs> in montana southwest montana look at this up here yeah it's crazy so anyway, we're going to just video some stuff around the town, go look at the river, hopefully not get stuck. It's going to get down to 30 below tonight. Chill factor is going to be about 60 below. Oh, gee, my Christmas. Mm -hmm. This is the problem with real powdery snow and a wind. You can see patches of snow on our road. That's Those are drifts. And if you go running down here real fast, and uh, hit one of those you could go right off the road into the deep snow just think about it this this town was settled back in 1875 and they did all this with no electricity oh yeah you know just wood fire stoves they dealt with this i mean that's pretty crazy yeah yeah it's cold Two ninety five for regular, three ninety four for diesel. Mm. And Paul's eating sunflower seeds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's the town of Ennis? The windows are all frosted up on that store. That's Paul's building right there, the yeah. gray building. The and UPS guy. That used to be the hole in the wall gallery right there. I wish it was still there. <laughs> Tackle shop, they're all frosted over at the windows. Man. I saw some good deer go back over here earlier. I'm sure glad you got a cup to put those <laughs> shells in instead of spitting them on the floor. Yeah, I do both. <laughs> okay, keep the camera going. I'm going to show you the river. Okay. The river is gorgeous. That's the mortuary. I'm going to have to roll your window down so you can take a good picture. Yeah. Wait till I get there. It's only like 20 below. Look at this. You dropped two to one degree already. It's only 19, 19 below. 19 below now. Okay, here we go. There's the... No, oh, it, look, it, at, it, look at that ice. It freezes from the bottom up. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That ice has got to be several feet thick. At least five or six feet thick. See, it freezes. Tomorrow, yeah. this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Do that side. Here, so, take the okay. camera. It is unbelievable. At least it ain't jamming up yet. Yeah, I know. It's going it, to. If it was jamming up, it would flood. Because up there at West Yellowstone, like I said, it's going to be 45 below tonight. You can put, <laughs> your, you can put your window up now. <laughs> you don't like that? Oh, you can. That's good. Uh -huh. 
Now this is a camping area here, but it's all flooded in over. You know, that's all ice down there right now. I'll show you. That river has flooded I'm not, I'll pull back in up. There oh, don't, know. don't, don't, don't. Yeah, I will. Yeah, where you normally go. Right okay, well, I don't want you getting stuck. I'm not gonna get stuck. Okay. I'm a mountain man. You're a mountain man. <laughs> okay, yeah. Roll that That's all part of the river coming through here. And this ain't a foot, uh, this ain't an outlet of the river. This is just it's overflow. Yeah, it is overflow. And this is all dry land when uh, in the summertime that people camp down here. It's a camper. Yeah. And that's uh, what happens when the river clogs up with ice, it ha overflows into the flatlands. That's why nobody's ever built a house down here. This is all flooding in here, too. This is normally dry land here. Odell Creek is here, isn't it? Odell, yeah. yeah Odell Creek is here. Oh, and I, that's all frozen over. Well, yeah. My hand is freezing. <laughs> what is that? I wonder if I recorded the Odell Creek. I probably mm -hmm. didn't. Anyway. Oh, they know the water's overflowing. I'm going to go around. Yeah. I'll buy blackjack. We're about an hour away from sunset right now. This is uh, where the town of Venice started, really, is out here. Mm -hmm. This is Jeffers. Well, I'm going to go this way. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffers Loop. Paul's a mountain man. He Well, he has a good truck, though. So I'm not worried about it. I got a winch. <laughs> he got a winch. <laughs> <laughs> we all should have a winch. I got my slippers on. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. Mm-hmm. I don't know how these animals make it through the night. I well, I don't either. God is. Look at that one right there. Yeah, there's deer a deer right, right there. Well, you can't see, can't it, see but it. Anyway, yeah. the. Uh, Animals have been blessed by God to, <laughs> Good coach. to be able to w live through stuff like that. Like, for instance, the deer, their hair is hollow. Right. So it's like you couldn't get a better insulation. And I guess they just... There goes one. Oh, yeah, there goes a deer running. A couple. A couple, yeah. There's <coughs> one right here. Some horses out there deer. eating hay. There's a... Keep, keep recording. We'll go around. We're going to go right oh, behind. Okay. I'll, I'll grab the camera. Okay. Watch this. Okay, let me see. It's okay. recording. Okay, watch this. Don't drive off the road. I'm not going to drive off the road. Dang it, Dave. Okay, these deer are right here. Oh, they're over here. They ain't done. Oh, they like that food. Yeah, they're all in those woods right there. Bucks. I just wonder how they made it through. They made it through. We were just discussing what it must have been like the Native Americans who had to live through this stuff in a in teepee, teepee. And, and they had to have a, a store of buffalo meat, dried out buffalo meat, that <laughs> they could dig into to uh, eat during the winter. I mean, they weren't going out to restaurants or the local grocery store to get uh, their supplies they had to they had to have their supplies already in store now the, all this land here you see is land that is owned by a friend of ours I'm not going to say her name but the lady is is the angel of the valley quite honestly mm -hmm. and uh if people need help, she's there to help them, and she doesn't even question it. She's Johnny on the spot, whether she feels good or not. She's uh, there. Mm -hmm. She's what you call a good Christian. Yeah. We could use more people like her. In this world? Yeah. There's a uh, 
rancher right there out in the cold doing what he has to do to keep everything running properly got a lot of respect for people who grow our food and our beef and uh, who have to work in cold like this no matter what what's the temperature now um, it's 19 below okay. we're running into some real deep drifts here I know it's hard for you to see because everything's whited out and that's the danger of a drift because you can't see it until you hit it see my truck coming. Hay Camp Ranch. Yeah. I've never seen that one. Well, somebody's been plowing out here. Is that the lot, county? We got, we got a lot of snow this year. Is it a county that comes out here and do that? Yeah. Yep. And this is the uh, entrance to the Jack Creek Ranch. I think my first landlady owned this ranch. That's good. Back when my rent was about 400 bucks a month. <laughs> that was back in 1985. 80, uh, at least. I'll tell you, this kind of weather, I fell down on some ice about two weeks ago. And I couldn't get up. I couldn't get traction I couldn't do anything I could just laid there yelling for help because <laughs> this the ice would not let me move I couldn't even crawl off the ice I mean I literally was sliding that bad and out here in the middle of nowhere if you lived in one of these homes and you went out into your driveway and you went to get in your car and you slipped and fell in about five minutes you got about maybe 10 15 minutes and you're dead yep. so you just start well you don't even have time to write out your will no it's a it's a dangerous country in the winter time mm -hmm. and when we have weather like this it's normally not too bad in the winter time yeah it's pretty cold right now yeah it's it's about it is unusual yeah. but it was this way 41 years ago too I think the oldest house in the, the valley is right out here. I think that's it right there, the oldest. No, these, these houses are really cool. Let me show yeah, you. Yeah, that one's the oldest frame house in the valley. I always wanted to buy that house. I thought that'd be a great house. Those are really nice. Live in. Yeah. But I don't think I'd want to live out here. Why not? In the wintertime. Lee Pools Ranch is down that way right too. There, right. Yeah. Yep. And the Barons, who bought a lot of my bronzes, live down there too. Deer right here. There's a deer foraging for food, digging a hole in the snow, and we just disturbed them. Poor guys. Hey, buddy. Him right there? Yeah, I saw him. There's a bunch of them up on the hill up there too. If you look over there, there's a bunch of deer. They're all trying to feed. We got some in the front of us here. They're all running around. Trying to figure out what to do in the cold. Here, look at over there. There amongst the cottonwoods. It's starting to bed down. It's getting low, close to sunset. Yeah. Here's an old, um, old house on the lake. The lake's out there. It's frozen right now. Yeah, it's frozen, like totally frozen. <laughs> it's a reservoir, actually. Yeah, I know. It's man-made. And uh, there used to be uh, Indians that. Uh, lived in this part of the valley they were called the sheep eaters and the, what? Uh, the sheep eaters they were the permanent 
tribe that lived in this I valley. Heard them. Yeah, well, I've read the history of the valley. Hmm. They can't camp. Their camp was right at the mouth of the uh, canyon, and uh, when they built the reservoir, that kind of killed all that. Yeah. Bunch of deer down there in that set of rock cottonwoods. Buck right there. Yeah. Down. Well, it's out of the wind. Well, here's Ennis Lake. Completely solid. Totally solid. One too long ago, I was um, rowing across that in my little boat from fishing. <laughs> this is where we could slide right off the road into the lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually on the ice. But. Yeah. There we go. We're going up by the dam. Out here. Yeah, I wouldn't have done this in my van. <laughs> yeah. Oof. I saw that drift. Just go sliding down here. I'll just put it on low. Freaking, the lake is frozen solid. We'll get up here, we'll get up by the bridge and get out and take the video. Well, you get out, I'm not getting out. Yeah, I'm gonna slow down here. I got my, my slippers on. <laughs> my slippers? Yeah, from L Lindell. Yeah. His the slippers. Pillow, the pillow guy? Yeah, my pillow guy. Yeah. Oh, you can cross the bridge, good. Yeah, I'm gonna just stop up here, then we'll turn around. You don't want to go out this way? No, I'd rather go back. We could. Let's just let's see. go. Let's go around the lake. Okay, let me just go ahead and take a video. Okay. Of this. All right, this is the lake. Close the door. That's Dave right there. He's always complaining. That's him. <laughs> it's cold. Close the freaking door. No. <laughs> it's only 19 degrees with a chill factor of 30 below. All right. Bear trap. Canyon. Man, it's cold. Whoo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we just uh, crossed the uh, dam there. That's what uh, creates this big lake here. <coughs> Yeah, I see that island. That's, I remember my daughter walking out to that island when she was a little girl. Yeah. I wish she was still around. That's the lake right there. This is a little island. All right, the wind's picking up. Uh, the temperature dropped from 19 degrees down to minus 20. It was 20, minus 20. It was 24. minus 24 just a few minutes ago. And uh, we're just coming down to Ennis. I'm going to run into the grocery store. And then we're going to go back up north again to a Italian takeout and get uh, some food. <laughs> the, uh, the the guy that cooked, he tell us about the guy that cooks there. Well, he, he actually is from New York. He had a restaurant there. He wanted to get out of New York. So he came to Ennis, which is good. And uh, they have a little restaurant going. It's up in Cameron, so. Mm, no, Not Cameron, Cameron. Uh, uh, Jeffers. No. No, where is it? Try again. McAllister. McAllister. There you go, McAllister. <laughs> <laughs> I've, how long have I lived here, Paul? I don't know, a year or two. <laughs> God, my brain is dead. So, that's it for tonight. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, maybe not. We'll see how cold it gets. Well, I'll, I might come back. I don't know. But for now, I'll just say goodnight, just in case it gets too dark to video. <laughs> Good night, everybody, and have a Merry Christmas.